Right. So the next one is the um, options, right? So first what we have to create, select option from list. Okay, so first, first what we have to create, we have to create input, okay, type equal to text, okay, so the next one name equal to something list okay so then we have to use the id here sorry we have to use the list here okay list so then what list we are applying so we have to create a id here so whatever the id we can do so those id we have to so data iphone list i am giving okay so the next one here data a list okay so here data list okay so there is no multiple options for this one there is no multiple options so no need to class and all those things don't require so only we are having id equal to so data icon list okay so for this one so we can give the class class equal to so from for my fun control okay now you can see it. here is the list one okay so these are the okay option so all the things are having so then so if we can change this one of one option then two option so then three option why this auto auto list appear for appearing the auto list so then we can use this data list okay so then whenever i am typing two so then only two related data is data will appear okay so this one for data list so we can apply both the things a read only and we can apply the read only and disabled because of so we are able to so we are able to using the keyboard control here okay so this is the this is the data list so this one so data list okay so the next one is the Next one is the next one is where we are having these are the examples. So next one is the check boxes and radio buttons. Check boxes and radio buttons. Now we, we can create a check boxes. So for separate file we can create it. Seventy dot three. Sharing all these things. Okay. Form open and form close. Okay. Now, so input type equal to checkbox. All right. So checkbox and name equal to name one and value equal to empty value equal to we have to give it right so then check one so then so there is no placeholder for this one so just we have to give the a label right so check box one check box one okay so here we are creating. Okay, so label is form icon check icon label. Label 
So then check out one box. So for this one, class equal to form iPhone check iPhone label. Okay. So this way we can create. Seventy-five. Okay. Here we are not applied any class for this one, so we can apply the class now. So class equal to class equal to form iPhone check iPhone form iPhone check iPhone control. Okay. Okay. Control. Control. Till it is not change. So from I can check I can input. Okay, so this way we can apply the checkbox class. Okay, so for this one, so we will see we are having the this label is closed. So then we can create in one div div okay, so then we will see. Form iPhone check iPhone input. So then form iPhone check iPhone input iPhone LG. Do we have or not? Okay, both are same sizes. So there is no different sizes. We are having only one size. Okay, so these are the two check boxes we are having. So for wrap. So we don't require, we don't, we don't need to apply this one. So then first suppose we are having the two type of checkboxes. One is unselect, one another one is select. So selected, selected, right? Now you can see. The input for this one, what is the attribute? Checked, sorry. Checked. Okay. Two type of check boxes. One is unchecked, another one is checked. Right? Another one is checked. Okay. So the next one is, so these are the check boxes. First suppose, first suppose if you are having the radio buttons, radio buttons so then how same thing same thing we are applying same classes only form iphon check iphon so we are checking so we are checking that inputs so that's why we are using so this one is form iphon input type radio okay so this one also radio okay so we have to use this same name so then now you can see so these are the radio buttons. Okay. Radio box. Radio button one. So this is the two. This is the one. Radio button one. Okay. So then. Right. Okay, here for suppose, so I want to, I want to, whenever I am clicking on this text, it is automatically select. So how I can get, so that one, so we are having option call. So it is in general, not for bootstrap. So we have to give the for equal to check one. Okay. And for this one, we have to give the ID equal to check one. Okay. So this one, so for equal to check to so this one for this input id equal to 
id equal to check to okay so this way we can apply so now you can see okay so this is the way we can use so this is the use of file okay so for inputs also we can use it for inputs also we can use it okay so these are the checkboxes and radio buttons checkboxes and radio button so the next one is we are having this one also we are having the read only and disabled so checkbox we cannot checkbox or radio buttons we cannot apply the read only, read only button because of it is not related to it is not related to the keyboard control it is related to the mouse control so that's why we can apply only disabled attribute disabled okay for suppose if you can apply the read only or read only so it won't apply you know i am unable to select okay i am unable to select this okay so this way we can apply so the next one is the switch box switch box so what is switch box switch box is nothing but check box only so inside it is having checkbox only okay so we can check and uncheck check and uncheck okay so then now we can see so we have to so as usual whatever checkbox we are using same thing we are using so but so we have to use the div we have to use the special class for this one so Form iPhone switch, we have to use it. Okay. Here. Yeah. So, div class equal to. So, this one. So, checkbox where we are having. So, this is my checkbox. Okay. Checkbox and checkbox label. Okay. So, we can use the form iPhone check. So, then after that form iphone switch these two classes we have to use it so second way it is not applying so when to This one is wrong. Okay. Clear? So inside it is having checkbox only. Inside it is having checkbox only. For suppose, so if you can see, so suppose if I am removing these two classes for this div, you know, we are able to see the checkbox. So we have to apply okay so this is the selected switch box okay selected switch box okay so another one is another one is unselected okay unselected switch box uh, switch box switch box okay so another one is disabled okay read only won't work so we are having the disabled disabled okay now you can you can select this clear so these are the switch boxes we are having clear up to here the next one is next one is the color palette color palette so input type color only we are having right so input type color so for this one also so div class equal to okay so for label label 
class equal to form i fun control so the next one choose color color okay so then input type equal to color okay so then class equal to so form i fun control so then we are having a special class called form control color form control color clear so then close this one you can see okay what happened here form i fun a label okay so this is a color palette choose a color okay so the next one is the next one is the range next one is the our range so till now so we are completed the form controls till now we are completed the form controls whatever we said above so form control then self box completed check box radio check box and radio buttons completed so then input group completed so then next one we are having the range a range and floating labels and layout validations okay so next one is the a range okay so then we can use the range so same thing label select a range okay type equal to range type equal to range so then we have a class called we have a class called form i fun range okay so this is the default one okay so this is the default one so in this we are having the attributes what is that one what is the what are the attributes so min equal to 1 and max equal to 10 and a value equal to 3 okay 3 now you can see okay okay clear so this way we can apply so the next one is the step also we are have how many steps we can we can reach the maximum value okay so where is step step this is the one. step equal to 0 0.1 this is a attribute Step equal to for suppose I'm choosing two. Okay, now you can see. Okay, so we cannot select up to here. Okay, so when we select it's automatically only it will jump to two steps. Okay, so this is the zero one. So zero, so then so if you want to choose so first step second step third step fourth step and fifth step so we are having 10 right maximum value is 10 right so then so it is reaching within five steps it is reaching okay so that is the step means it's a attribute it's not bootstrap related it's a attribute okay so this is a, a range okay so this is array okay so then remaining things we can discuss tomorrow so in the in the bootstrap five forms we are having the input groups and floating labels then layout related things so how we can apply the so one by one side by side inputs so then how we can apply the multiple complex layout related thing so in one row how how we can place the three inputs in one row 
how we can place it to input. So then finally, we are having the bootstrap validation. Basic validation is providing bootstrap. Okay, so these things we can discuss tomorrow. Right, then fine. Thank you. So if you have any doubts, you can ask me. And share, I'll share this file in next 10 minutes. Okay, okay, then fine. Thank you.